welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to talk about some of my current favorite products. I always get asked what products I recommend, what products I like, what products I use. So I decided that today I would film my current favorite makeup products. So I have two foundations to talk about today. One is the IT Cosmetics CC Plus Illumination Foundation. I really love this foundation because it's so full coverage, it's so good for your skin, and it smells amazing. It smells like, like a lemon cake or something. It smells so good. I really love this foundation. I think it's great for everyday use because of all the great benefits in the foundation. I really like this foundation because it makes me look glowy, it makes my skin feel good, it's so full coverage. It's just been one of my favorite foundations lately and I really recommend it. The next foundation I'm going to talk about is the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation Plus Concealer. This foundation is also so full coverage. This foundation has a great price point. I believe it's about $25 and for a higher end foundation, that's extremely affordable. I love the applicator. It's like the Tarte Shape Tape applicator. I love the coverage that this foundation gives. I'm wearing it today. And yeah, I just really love this foundation. I think it's amazing. I think everyone needs to try it. And it's been one of my current favorites. The next product I'm going to talk about is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This concealer is so amazing. I'm sure if you watch a lot of YouTube videos, you've heard everyone talk about it. Everyone uses it. It's so full coverage. It's so blendable. It does not crease. It's amazing. I love it so much. Um, there's not too much to say about it. I love the applicator. Um, I don't have one bad thing to say about this concealer it's amazing you need to try it if you have not tried it you need to try it lately I've really been loving the RCMA no color translucent powder I think the price point on this is amazing the amount of product you get for the price is amazing and this translucent powder is just as good as the Laura Mercier translucent powder I think that it beats the Laura Mercier with the price and the amount of product you get. I've had it for quite a while now and I use it all the time and I still have a ton of product. I love this powder. Again, if you don't have it, I think you need to pick it up and try it. I know it kind of sucks because you probably have to order it online, but it's amazing. It's amazing. Um, next, I'm going to talk about some liquid lipsticks. The next product I want to talk about is a liquid lipstick. I think this liquid lipstick is almost better than the Smashbox liquid lipsticks, the Kat Von D liquid lipsticks, the Kylie liquid lipsticks, and it is the Sephora liquid lip creams. I have quite a few colors here. I have one, two, three, four, five. I have seven colors. They are $14 each. That is absolutely amazing. I have a lot of liquid lipsticks and these might be my favorite, definitely at the moment. The formula is amazing. They don't dry out your lips. They stay on your lips. If you eat, they do come off a little bit, but you can just apply a fresh layer and it looks great. There's so many shades to choose from. They have your nudes, they have your reds, your crazy colors, they have purples, they have pinks. They're amazing. I can't get enough of these lipsticks. I use them all the time. Every time I'm in Sephora, I try to pick up a new shade. I love them so much. They're amazing. $14. Amazing quality. Amazing liquid lipsticks. Next, I have a couple different lip glosses to talk about. I love liquid lipsticks. I love wearing them on their own. But I also love lip glosses and I have a few here that I've really been loving lately. I think will look amazing in the summertime. And the first ones I want to talk about are the Marc Jacobs lip glosses. Um, I have two right here. I have Sugar Sugar, which I'm actually wearing on my lips right now, over one of the Sephora liquid lipsticks. And I have Love Buzz. I love these glosses. 
They feel amazing on your lips. They don't feel tacky. They feel smooth. I feel like they stay on your lips for a really long time. They, they're amazing. Everything's amazing. I'm just gonna keep saying everything's amazing because it is. These are my current favorite products and this lip gloss, I love the shine that it gives. They're really good lip glosses. There's quite a few colors to choose from. These are more neutral colors. Sugar Sugar is more of a nude with a little bit of a shimmer. And then Love Buzz, it has like an iridescent, pinky, purple, gold thing going on. I don't know if you can tell. Right here is Sugar Sugar, which I have on my lips right now. And this is Love Buzz. Really great lip glosses, and I definitely want to try some more of the colors. The first lip gloss that I want to talk about is the Lancome Mirrored Nude Lip Gloss. Um, there's quite a few shades, but this one's my favorite. It's similar to the Love Buzz lip gloss from Marc Jacobs that I was just talking about. Let's see. But it just gives this really cool metallic effect to your lips, and I just really love it. I love it. I When I put it on, it makes me feel even more glowy. And I just don't have much to say about it, but I love it and I've been using it a lot lately. The only thing that kind of sucks about it is it's more of a tacky lip gloss. So when you talk, you can kind of feel your lips like pulling apart, but it doesn't look tacky. Don't mind the tacky feeling. I can look past that. But if you're someone who doesn't like that feeling, then this lip gloss is not for you. And the last lip gloss that I want to talk about is the Jouer Lip Topper in Skinny Dip. This is so beautiful. I got one of these in the fall and it was just a mini sample and I loved it so much that I purchased the full size. It is so pretty. It looks gorgeous when the sun hits your lips. It's right there. Skinny dip. Oh, it's so beautiful. This one does not feel tacky. It feels really smooth on the lips. It looks gorgeous. And yeah, that's that. Getting away from lip products, um, let's talk about highlighters. I have two, two highlighters to talk about. The first highlighters that I want to talk about are the Anastasia Glow Kits. I have two of them. I have Sun Dipped and I have the Nicole Glow Kit. I think the price point for these highlighters is amazing because one highlighter from another brand costs almost as much as this whole palette. The shades are so gorgeous. You get shades that are good for many different skin tones. And then I also have the Nicole palette. I love this one because you get a mix of everyday shades and more playful highlighter shades. And my favorite shades are Forever Young and Glow Getter. I wear those the most out of this palette. But I love the pink. This white has a blue, purpley iridescence and the orange. They're so amazing if you want to play with highlight and you want a different color. It's just a great palette. I love these glow kits. The price point is amazing. The amount of product you get is amazing. The quality is amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. How many times can I say amazing in this video? Let's not kill. Next highlighter that I want to talk about is actually the first highlighter that I ever purchased. I was so excited to get this highlighter. I never thought that I would hit the pan on it, but I have hit the pan a little bit. It's the Too Faced Candlelight Highlighter. It looks like this. See, I've hit the pan right there in the middle. What I do is I just mix the two shades together. There it is right there. Now, it looks chalky. It does look chalky at first. You'll see, compared to the Anastasia Here's the Anastasia highlighters, and then here is the Too Faced. It doesn't look as gorgeous as the Anastasia ones at first. 
but whenever I apply this highlighter to my cheek, after I wear it for a little bit and I walk past the mirror, I'm like, whoa, my highlight is amazing. It looks like it just sinks into the skin. It looks like it looks like it's really part of my skin and that my skin is really just glowing. I know here it does not look like that, but after after wearing it for so long, the effect that it looks on my skin, I can't even explain it. I can't even find the words to explain the way that this highlighter looks after a couple of hours. I think it looks so amazing. I don't know. The swatch does not do justice to what it looks like when you've been wearing it for a little bit. It definitely isn't like the Anastasia highlights or the Becca highlights or any other really amazing highlight but it's I just love the way it looks on my skin after it's been a few hours it just looks like it's part of your skin it looks amazing it I don't know I can't explain it you just have to try it for yourself it's I really love it I love it next I'm going to mention a blush it's the Urban Decay blush in video it looks like this. This is my go-to blush. It is the blush that I'm wearing now. It's the blush that I wear on a day-to-day -day basis. It's just so neutral. It's just my go-to blush. It's the blush I wear on a daily basis. Not too much to say about it. I just love the color and that's it. It's my favorite blush at the moment. Next, I have two bronzers to talk about. The first one is the NARS Laguna Bronzer. I got this a couple months ago, and I've already hit the pan on it. That is how much I use this bronzer. I love this bronzer so much. It's definitely a little more on the pricey side for bronzers, but I bit the bullet, and I bought it, and I love it. I love the way it blends out on your skin. I love the way it looks on your skin. It has a little bit of like a gold shimmer to it. I love bronzers. I have so many bronzers. They're one of my favorite products. I think that I like bronzers so much because I'm so pale. And then when I put on a bronzer, it just makes me feel more tan and more summery. When you just have foundation on, your face just looks so flat. Like it doesn't have any definition or color. And once you add that bronzer onto your face, it just brings back the life and the definition into your face and I really love bronzers for that reason. So I have a lot of bronzers and this one really stands out to me. The formula is amazing. I love it. The next bronzer I'm going to talk about is the Too Faced Sweet Tea Bronzer. I'm wearing it today. I love this bronzer because it's, it's shimmery and the shimmer just looks so gorgeous on your skin, especially in the summertime. I think it just brings this healthy glow to your skin. How many times can I say I love it and it's amazing in this video? The only thing about a shimmery bronzer is that if you have a lot of texture on your cheeks, you might not want to wear a shimmery bronzer because the shimmer will enhance the look of the texture on your skin. Now, for eyeshadow palettes, I wouldn't say that I have a current favorite. There's not one palette that's lately been sticking out to me as outstanding that I recently got or anything that's just been my go-to palette. I do try to rotate through all my palettes so that I'm getting use out of all of them and that I don't forget about a palette. But I do have two palettes here that are really great palettes. There are palettes that I love, there are palettes that you can get a lot of looks out of. And it's the Tartlet and Bloom palette and the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette. These palettes are both amazing in their own way. I like the Anastasia palette because it gives you so many options to do so many different looks. The quality of these eyeshadows are amazing. You can get a natural look or you can get a colorful look. You can do so many different looks with this palette. The Tartlet and Bloom palette, I love this palette because there's such neutral shades in here. If you're someone who hasn't tried a lot of eyeshadows and you just want something 
that you can wear every day. This is an amazing palette. This is just my go-to eyeshadow palette that I use on an everyday basis when I want a easy, fast, neutral look. It's amazing. No, I shouldn't have said it's amazing, but it is. I just need to stop saying it's amazing. Um, that was it for the makeup products. I have a couple other products that aren't necessarily makeup. The first is the Soap and Glory Righteous Butter. This is the Diamond Edition. I I love this lotion. I it smells so good. Oh, when you wear it, the scent it just lingers on your body and it just uh, you can smell it all day and it just smells amazing it's so pretty I like the diamond edition because it has a little bit of a sparkle in it it is a little pricey for a body butter but I picked it up and I fell in love with it and I already have bought a backup for when this one runs out if you're in Ulta um, I believe this is in Walgreens. Just open it and smell it and the, the smell, it when it's rubbed on your skin, it doesn't smell as intense as it does in the, in the jar. It just smells like a perfume. You don't even need a perfume with this. It smells so good. Next I have a couple of sheet masks to talk about. I love sheet masks. They're so relaxing. I love to just put one on and let all that good stuff just sink into my skin. I picked up these sheet masks and I believe the brand is called Nature Love. Um, I have two different kinds but this is what the box looks like. I have hydrating and soothing, brightening and firming. The reason these sheet masks stand out to me more than other sheet masks is my skin feels amazing after using them. They my skin just feels so refreshed the product really just feels like it really sunk into my skin what i really love about these sheet masks is that there's so much product in here that when you're done with the sheet mask the next day you can use the extra product as part of your skincare routine and you can just apply it on your face with your hands and i get like two uses out of this because of all the product in here and the price is amazing i actually got these sheet masks for five dollars and there's five in a pack so that's a dollar a sheet mask but i believe the actual original price is eight dollars which is about two dollars a sheet mask less than two dollars a sheet mask so i think that's just a great price because some sheet masks can be five dollars twenty dollars and that's i'm not about that life i'm not about spending twenty dollars on a sheet mask I've spent $5 on the Sephora ones before and I think that these sheet masks are better than the Sephora ones. The last two products that I want to talk about have to do with makeup application and the first product is the Black Beauty Blender. I really like the Black Beauty Blender. This is a spare that I have but I do have the one I'm currently using right here. really love the texture of the black beauty blender and it's just what I use every day when I put my makeup on. So The last product that I want to talk about is what makeup brushes I use. It's one set in particular. It's the Morphe Vegan Pro Set. It's what most of the brushes I use are. So here's some of the brushes. This isn't all of them. There's two different sets. I believe there's one with 15 brushes and one with 18 brushes, I believe. I have the one that has 15 brushes. So this is not all of the brushes, but I really like this set. I think the price point on it is amazing. The quality of the brushes is amazing. And if you're into vegan stuff, it's vegan. So here's some of the eyeshadow brushes. And then here's some of the face brushes. 
What's really nice is that the set actually comes in this travel bag. So you can take this with you if you're traveling or if you're a makeup artist and you do other people's makeup. It's a nice set. I don't keep it in here because I keep my brushes in these jars with all my other brushes. It's just easier for me to have all my brushes together and not have to pull out a separate case with my brushes in it. But it is really nice if you're going to travel to have this case. That's it. That is all my current favorite makeup and beauty products. I hope you enjoyed this video. I can do more of these videos if it's interesting. I always love watching other people's favorite videos. I like to know what other people recommend, what products I might not know about. These are the products that I love and I always get asked what products I recommend. So these are the current products that I recommend to you. These are the current products that I'm loving. So that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, it would mean so much to me. Thank you.